Hello everyone. In this video, I'm explaining Walsh Hadamard transform, which is a topic from digital image processing. So Hadamard transform is used for data encryption as well as it is also used for data compression algorithms. Hadamard transform is based on Hadamard matrix, which is denoted by H of capital N. And what is H of capital N? It is a square array and in which the entries are only of plus one and minus one. So H1 is nothing but into matrix. It is a matrix of unit one. H2 is a two by two matrix that is shown like one, 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 minus one. H4, H4 is calculated as, this is the equation one into H2. Here again, it is one into H2. Again, second row, first column is 1 into h of 2 and second row and second column is minus 1 into h of 2. So here we have to consider this h of 2 and calculate and after calculation, we get this final h of 4. So you can see here, this is h of 4. Now, what is meaning of sign changes? Sign changing in row. So here there is no sign change. This is 1, 1, 1, 1. So zero times sign is changing. So here how many times sign of one is changing? So here once it is changing, then minus one to one again change, then one to minus one again sign is changed. So here it is written three. How many times uh, sign change in third row? No sign change. Then again once, only one sign is changed. So here it is one. And in the fourth row, once here sign is changed and then again here sign is changed and that's why it is two. So if you suppose uh, I denote one by some uh, white and minus one by black, then how one will look like in image processing? One uh, H1 will look like this. H2 will look like this because this is one, 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 and then this is minus one. So minus one is denoted by black. So H4 will look like this and H8 will look like this. You can see here H2, H4, H16, H64, and this H for various values are shown. Now let's solve one simple numerical. So what is uh, a numerical? It is compute Hadamard transform of a data sequence. Here we are calculating Hadamard transform for a data sequence. The sequence is given that is 1, 2, 0, and 3. So what is X of N? X of N is our data sequence, that is input signal. So X of N is 1, 2, 0, and 3. So there are four data points. Since there are four data points, our capital N is equals to 4. And hence, since N is equal, capital N is equals to 4, so that means we need here H of 4. That means we need here 4 by 4 matrix. That means we are using 4 by 4 matrix of Hadamard transform for calculating Hadamard transform. What is formula for calculation of Hadamard transform? The formula is, uh, or Hadamard transform is denoted by capital X of N is equals to H of N. H of N means here N is equals to four. So H of four into small X of N, that means this sequence. So what is H of N? H of N is four by four Hadamard matrix. That's just we have seen in the previous slide. What is X of N? X of N, you have to write into columns. That is 1, 2, 0, and 3. Then perform matrix multiplication of this, and we will get Hadamard transform. That is capital X of N of this input signal, small x of N. That is 6 minus 4, 0, and 2. Very simple. It is very simple to calculate Hadamard transform of a data sequence. Just you have to see how many data points are there. Since there are four data points, you have to use four by four Hadamard matrix. Now let's calculate Hadamard transform for an image. So here numerical is compute Hadamard transform of an image given below. So image is denoted by small f of x. So these are pixel intensity values of image. How to calculate it? Here again, is equals to four because it is four by four image. Since it is 4 by 4 image, capital N is equals to 4 and hence our Adamant matrix will be H of 4. That means it will be 4 by 4 matrix. So 
uh, what is the formula for calculation of Hadamard transform for an image for signal? It was only Hadamard matrix into data points. For image, since it is a four by four two dimensional signal, so formula is H of four Hadamard matrix into image again into Hadamard matrix. So here what I have, and uh, Hadamard transform of an image is denoted by capital F. So here I have written H of four, that is standard Hadamard matrix into F of X, F of X is our image, and then again H of four. Then what you have to do first, multiply this H of four with image. So we will get something like this. When we perform matrix multiplication, of this H of 4 and F of X, we will get this kind of matrix and then you have to write this H of 4 and then multiply these two matrices. Here, you should not multiply this H of 4 and this H of 4 and then to image. Okay, sequence you have to follow first, multi otherwise your results will be different. First, you have to take this H of 4 into image, you will get one result, then multiply that result with another Hadamard matrix. So after multiplication, you will get this final Hadamard transform for the given image. Now, looking into this matrix, you can see that what is basic input image here? Pixel intensity values are spread all over the image. That, that means you can see 3, 4, 2, 1, everywhere, all over the image. But when we have calculated the Hadamard transform, you can see that the entire power is accumulated and the, on the left top corner of the image 34 and other values are small that means entire signal is accumulated entire information is accu accumulated in the corner so when we apply this Hadamard transform on some image say this Lina image you will the Hadamard transform of this Lina image will look like this that means here you can see everywhere there is a black and only on the left top corner the entire image entire information in the Lina image is accumulated here and that's why this is used for image compression because we are compressing the information and putting it in a particular position. And that's why it is used for image compression algorithms. So I hope you understood the concept behind it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.